this business about taking everyone's guns away. Tim Walls and I are both gun owners. We're not taking anybody's guns away. So stop with the continuous lying about this stuff. Um, I support buybacks, and I think that look, we have five million assault weapons on the streets of America. How mandatory is your gun buyback program? It's mandatory. Second Amendment? The Second Amendment, listen, we have to, we're going to have to do it the right way. Let's talk about fracking because we're here in Pennsylvania. I made that very clear in 2020. I will not ban fracking. I have not banned fracking as Vice President of the United States, and in fact, I was the tie-breaking vote on the Inflation Reduction Act, which opened new leases for fracking. Will you commit to implementing a federal ban on fracking your first day in office, adding the United States to the list of countries who have banned this devastating practice? There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. So, yeah. Vice President Harris, in 2017, you supported Bernie Sanders' proposal to do away with private insurance and create a government-run health care system. Two years later, you proposed a plan that included a private insurance option. What is your plan today? Well, first of all, I absolutely support, and over the last four years as vice president, private health care options. You support uh, the Medicare for All bill, I think, initially co-sponsored co by Senator Bernie Sanders. You're also a co-sponsor yes. on it. I believe it will totally eliminate private insurance. Um, so for people out there who like their insurance, well, they don't get to keep it? Well, listen, the idea is that everyone gets access to medical care. And you don't have to go through the process of going through an insurance company, having them give you approval, going through the paperwork, all of the delay that may require. Who of us have, has not had that situation where you got to wait for approval and the doctor says, well, I don't know if your, your insurance company is going to cover this? Let's eliminate all of that. Let's move on. The United States Congress, including some of the most conservative members of the United States Senate, came up with a border security bill, which I supported. And that bill would have put 1,500 more border agents on the border to help those folks who are working there right now overtime, trying to do their job. I believe if someone crosses over the border is illegally, it is illegal, and you would, you would decriminalize it. I would not make it a crime punishable by jail. I, it should be a civil enforcement issue, but not a criminal enforcement issue. Listen, I think there's no question that we've got to critically re-examine ICE and its role and the way that it is being administered and the work it is doing. And we need to probably think about starting from scratch.